Hello all you beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sabrina, but if you're a regular, welcome back. I am so, so excited for today's video. Literally, I've been holding on to this stuff for about five weeks maybe because I did a couple of separate orders and I've kept all of the stuff in my room, like just waiting to have everything all at once so I could do this video for you guys. So I haven't opened anything up, so I'm really excited. Today, we are gonna be doing an everything five pounds haul. We have all of this to get through. I will explain to you why they're all in separate packages in a momo. Before we get into the video, just a couple of details because these are the types of questions that I always get asked. The top that I'm wearing today, I got at TK Maxx. It is from a brand called Blur Seal. I don't think that you can get this top anymore but I will link the brand down below. In case anyone asks, the little bralette that I'm wearing underneath is from Primark. I don't think I have any earrings or anything on today. <laughs> well, my eyelashes are from Primark. I'll link a bunch of the makeup that I have used today down below if you guys wanted to check it out. My watch is from Sexy. The phone cover that I have on today, which I literally am obsessed with, this is from a brand called Burger Collection that Candy sent me two of their phone cases. I'm literally obsessed with this one for summer. It's giving me 100% like Grecian vibes. I had another one on before this and I've only just switched onto this and I'm literally loving it so much. And you can get it with or without the black protective layer. You can take that part out if you don't want to use it, but I tend to drop my phone a lot as you can probably see by the cracks, so I got that. They came in these really pretty packaging. Like I don't know what you guys think, but I really like their branding and like the little box. It's so nice for someone for a gift. They look like this. So this is another one I chose too on the website. This is another one of the ones that I chose and they also kindly gave me a discount code I don't get anything back from the code it is just for you guys to use so the code is Jessica I'll just pop it up on the screen here if you're wondering what the code is Jessica it's because my second name is Jessica one kiss is all it takes falling in love with me <laughs> It's been so long since I did like my last everything five pounds haul, which went really well by the way If you want to check it out, I'll link it up here I don't even remember what I ordered so far I've had a really good experience with delivery like a couple of these came within like three or four days Although it is pricey because they charge you per item so like weight and stuff So just think about that when you are choosing something how much a weighs is gonna affect how much delivery is <laughs> Let's just backtrack for a second <laughs> This is how to shop on everything five pounds according to Sab. My new method, and I strongly recommend this, is I've signed up to the everything five pound newsletter. With everything five pounds, they send about two emails a day, which is, mm, you know, that is extensive, but their new stock sells out in half an hour. The popular stuff literally will be gone in half an hour. And a lot of the stuff that is from like a good brand, you don't always know that it is, but sometimes, and I'll tell you how, sometimes you can recognize when it is, but like if you see something good, you literally want to purchase it straight away so I literally look at the emails every day and sometimes I order like two pieces here or there hence all these different piles second little thing of advice is I search Google for the image they don't call their images by what it actually is because I think it would be much more easy to find the brand then so often it's named something really random but I search Google for the image change like what it's searching so let's just say it's a bra and it comes up with like bikini as a thing I'll be like lace rose bra with the image and sometimes I found the product so I know where it's from. Big fuck. Never heard of that before. Oh my gosh. So this is the brand. This used to be 30 euros which is really good and this is feeling really nice quality. What? This is a black blazer. It's really lightweight for summer which is what I thought that I'd really like. What? Like what? What? This blazer is so nice. Oh my god like what such a nice fit size long length open so it's not like got buttons or anything at the front it's very what would you call that like you don't like button up the tie it's very like quite casual chic this is the black long line blazer and guys literally i am loving this one so much i'm so glad that i didn't get any bigger size i would definitely say stay true to size here i think this was the extra small or small this was a really nice one i would try this on in the store and pay like at least 20 pounds for this easy you can cinch it in with like a little belt if you had like some nice jeans on and heels really like this i'm so glad to have this in my wardrobe okay so this is a gray slash mint jake jegging set gym wear set or you can feel the texture it's got a little hole so you can check it out size small slash medium oh my god 50 euros mm. Mm. Um, easier said than done girl it's a ziploc bag oh so 
and um, this is a two piece. If I really need new gym clothes, so I was like, I'm gonna test it out, and if it's good, I'm gonna order a shit ton. So this is the top. It's very stretchy. I find this material very comfortable for the gym. It doesn't feel like a bad material. It's not like it's not like oh my gosh. I like the color blue and gray together. We'll have to see how it is on. These feel really nice. I'm really into this like thick band on the top, and then they go all the way down. They've just got like a little pattern across the leg, and they've got these like little arrows going down, which I think is quite flattering. Like on the side of you, it's almost like points down so like makes your like legs look quite streamlined they smell like plastic i'm not gonna lie and it's not the most amazing quality that i've ever known of in my entire life but i definitely think that i can work with this i hope that these are a good like size on and also i can't tell what's the front and the back because it doesn't have a label inside i've got on the gym set now and i think this is one of the things that i'm most disappointed in other than the tracksuit because it's a little bit weirdly fitted here as you can see it's like clumping here but it's like kind of tight in other places the material is not really that comfortable it looks okay here and the back i mean the back looks fine the bottoms are not comfortable they are, are tight weirdly like tight here but not here so like they'll be like more loose here and then like get super tight and can't get pulled up so i think my first impression of this is not that great but i know they do have like i like the, the blue band at the top though so a little bit like loose and weirdly tight in some places. I would almost maybe like have it like this rather. Either way, I think maybe I'd give some of the other gym wear a try because it's not all from the same place. It's suddenly getting really hot, guys. It's like 27 degrees today and I've got the window closed because obviously I don't want it to be like noisy for you guys. OMG Zor. This is the thing that I... What? This is Tom Trickery. So this is a thing that I thought was from Miss Pap, but this is actually from 8 Paris, which I've gotten one or two things from there before. They have used this exact material. Maybe this is still nice. Off the bat, it literally smells toxic. It just smells like chlorine. Like, like this got washed in a swimming pool, which, I mean, that's not really a vibe. This is a size small. This is seeming like quite huge. Hopefully, it still looks nice on. I feel like if you dress this correctly, you can make it look like quite a bit more expensive than it is. Off the bat, I would say... Do I say off the bat a lot? Like, have a drink every time I say off the bat. Off the bat, the... <laughs> Uh, these guys aren't like too stable if you look at that like it's just sewn in with like one small piece of thread so i wouldn't yank on the buttons i really want to put this on now because i just can't resist okay okay it's feeling better on than i thought it would okay that's quite like that's quite baddy that's cute i'm not mad at that i'm not mad at anything that i've gotten so far what 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 uh. so angels this is the camouflage jacket on i actually take back what i said like i think that this is pretty cool i like the way that it fits it's like the perfect length on the arms but it's got that bomber jacket style i think that it looks really cute with like an outfit like this paired up with shorts i would maybe wear this one with black uh, ripped shorts i think that it feels really comfortable on the only thing that i said was that sometimes the buttons feel like they could not be the sturdiest i think that it definitely looks a lot more expensive Woo! i think that it definitely looks a lot more expensive than five pounds and Oh, yeah, I think that it's it's definitely very very cute. I really like this item. Let me know what you guys think down below if there's anything in particular that you guys really like or that you don't really like that much and definitely think that I should send back. Sorry, I just thought that I literally like saw someone in the room. I don't know why I always get scared. Like, do any of you guys hear like a random sound and think, oh my fuck, I'm gonna die? <laughs> I also got something for Mike, so, you know, for all the boys that watch, I think it's a uh, 5% of you out there. No, oh, no, 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 no. Like 9% boys out there watching this, so holla. Other than what's still on the way, this is the most recent thing that I ordered. And when I saw this, I was like, I actually have to order it straight away because I know this is going to sell out. Again, I looked this one up and I can't remember what I rerouted it back to, but I saw them on another shoe site for sale for about 30 pounds. Ratchet box. I know I'm being difficult, but that really is a stank ass box. Not cool if you're giving someone a gift. The shoes look nice though. Oh girl. The quality, I mean, the quality is definitely nothing to run home about, but how cute are these? They've got this like rose embroidery pattern on them. So cute because I thought like in the UK even when it gets to like spring and summer you have like really hot days But in between you still have days that are decently cold and I thought these would be super cute with high-waisted like denim shorts If you're going to like a festival or something and you need to like cover up your feet I just got these in a size 6 so I'll have to try them on to see how they feel I think 
that's where you can go most wrong in the sizing of the shoes these are cute though I am definitely excited to put these little bad boys on the next little item that I have on here I wouldn't wear it with this outfit but are the pink shoes I think that these are pretty cool like they feel quite comfortable on I like the fact that this rim around the side of the shoe is cushioned so it's quite comfortable on the foot the only thing I'd say is that here it's maybe slightly tight just where the tongues are so I can feel it against my foot but other than that they're the perfect size so size 6 and yeah I really like these I think that I'll definitely be wearing these bad boys OMG do not remember ordering this Oh, so I think it's come out a different color to what I imagined. This is supposed to be pink and this is looking orange. It is orange. It's orange. And it says made in Korea with a very creepy picture. Look at that. That is weird. That is pretty weird. It just says jeans on the button. So you don't look at the buttons too closely and they sound cheap. This actually feels like it could be really warm. It's like really thick. Not bad. First thing I noticed was like this little bit of dirt. You guys probably won't even be able to see it on there. I'm just like difficult. It's very small though. The shilling, shilling, whatever sheep vibe is very cheap feeling. But it's completely lined inside. So this is actually the wrong thing for this season. It will be very good when it goes into autumn. Let's see. I mean, that's still cute though. It could be a little bit small. It's cute. You could get away with it. Like, I think it looks more expensive than it is and it feels like. It's not the most comfortable jacket I put on, but I mean, <laughs> listen to that. Oh, this is the most disappointing item I think I've had so far because I was expecting a little bit more. This is one of those ones that sold out within like a couple of minutes of it being on the site. I'm not even lying. Jeans. I really hope these fit. They feel really nice. Really nice color. Dark blue. Oh, these look nice. These look nice. Oh, the label's been cut out. Bershka? Someone who knows brands. This is how it looks. My nails are really ratchet. Sorry. It's got like a B here. It's been cut out. Yes, how does you recognize the font of like a brand? I got this in a size 6. These are looking really nice. These are definitely, definitely a good quality. They look like the perfect size. You know when you can look at something and say like, these look nice and I've read on the website there were quite a few reviews on these that they were very stretchy oh BSK skinny BSK that must be Bershka oh my gosh guys you see that is just like that is just cool mm -hmm. good quality stuff for cheaper I'm feeling that right now I've got the jeans on guys I'm so impressed with these these are one of my favorite things that I've tried so far literally I'm pretty sure I'm gonna double check the logo but I'm pretty sure that these are Bershka jeans they fit so nicely, like, they're very stretchy. I love the color. They're perfect for work. Are like a denim, but they're like not like a denim. They're like almost like, I know they're like pants, like cotton pants, but they like are so, so nice. I'm so happy with this. Guys, like I can definitely see myself getting a lot of wear out of these. So super, super cute, so well fitted. Yes, please. Woo! I've got two tracksuits. One is for boys, one is for girls, but I find if you wanted to, you could easily order one of the guys' tracksuits, depending on how you like it to fit. So, there's a brand called Harry Wild. Usually I think that these retail for like 50 pounds per half or 40. I paid five for this and five for the top and it's got all the original labels and everything on still. Off the bat, the quality feels really nice. They're like this at the top. They're with a white tie. They've got the branding. They've got a little label, but it doesn't have the price on it. But I swear they still have these on their website. Yeah, I definitely think that Michael like these. They've got a not very cuff, but fairly cuff. Maybe it is more cuff than I think just like my ankles aren't that size. This is the top. Totally the wrong weather for this though. So this is gonna look hot on my really cool. Really, really like that. Quality feels really nice. What? Oh my gosh. There's these little speckles. Can you see that? Yeah, you can. There's like blue speckles. That's the only like error thing on them. That should maybe wash away or not really be noticeable. And we've got the girls one. Which has got white instead of blue. These are cute. I really like you. This is how they look. They're looking like a good size. This is in the size 10. I don't like tight tops and bottoms. The top is in a 10 as well. Definitely size up. This is a 10 and this is probably a little bit smaller than I would have wanted it to have been. It seems like it'll be quite tight. I feel like I've gotten like some quite decent things in this. I'm not really like too sad about what I've got in here. It's definitely really cute and comfortable. The only thing is it's so much smaller than I expected. Like the arms are fairly long, but 
it's a size 10 and it's like decently like tight here I quite like a hoodie that's like a little bit baggier and the bottoms don't really fit the way I'd want them to like they're a little bit too tight at the top here like and because of that they're like pulling here where I want them to be a little bit more loose and comfortable so this is one that I'm the most disappointed in but I'm surprised because it's not the actual quality of it that's disappointing it is the fit and this is a 10 and that's one or two sizes bigger than I am so you would definitely want to be sizing up the last one here that I've got is an Asian brand and um, it's got like some writing which is I don't know where it's from but it's not from here and it says I'm gonna butcher this now Jin Cha Chowdu, Jin Chowdu. I don't know how you would really say that, but that's the vibe. And this is a kimono. Concerned about the material. Mm -mm. Material's not great. I'd want it to be a little bit softer. Oh my god. And it is like a granny thing. I don't remember ordering this. I'm not a big fan of these, and I'd be quite surprised to have all of these because it's looking quite like a granny like outfit here, like a granny shirt. I think you have to really dress this quite fashionably for it to look cool. I think maybe over a pair of like high-waisted jeans, maybe with a belt over it could cinch it in and give it a little bit more style. I don't understand any of the instructions or anything like that. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. Do not tumby dry. Tumble dry is for the weak. <laughs> oh, that really cracked me up. So this is the kimono on. I've just paired it up with like this really chilled pair of high-waisted shorts and a white top. I really like this. When I first saw it, I thought that it looked a little bit grandma-ish and it's still, I mean, it has some grandma vibes, but I think you just have to style it right. This is, sorry, it's open now, but this is kind of like the bag that I would pair with this outfit. The material doesn't feel itchy. On it actually feels quite soft. So my angels, that was everything that I picked up from Everything 5 Pounds. You can see this mountain of clothes here now that I need to go and pack away. I really liked a lot of the items that I got. I felt like it's just incredible that you can go and get clothes and really amazing clothes for work, really professional clothes at such an affordable price. I really do think it's worth it if you haven't tried it out. I would definitely advise doing so and after ordering on there for a little while you kind of get to know the certain types of things to avoid and what to go for and I think that I've definitely done a lot better this time around than last time. There was maybe one or two items that I didn't really love that much or the quality Quality was maybe not as good but then to counter that there was stuff that was amazing quality from really good brands where I can see how much it actually costs. Anyway my angels I hope that you really really enjoyed that video. If you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up so that I know to do similar videos to this again for you guys.